What's up guys, this is Tyler with another tutorial from Candlelit Crime Scene. Today we'll be talking about how to build a website, such as the one you're seeing now, without using any HTML code at all. Before I begin, I want to remind everyone that the video response section of all my videos is open and feel free to post any questions you may have that you want to show me on your screen or you feel like you can explain something better. Next, I also want to remind everyone that the requests you are sending me via email on my inbox and the comments you're putting below the videos is greatly appreciated. The feedback is awesome and I want to encourage you to keep doing that. I know this tutorial is not a response to any of those questions, but I will continue doing those after I get a couple more videos out. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is open up Photoshop. Okay, now that you have Photoshop open, your screen should look a lot like mine. And the first thing we're going to do is click on File. So left click File, click on New. We're going to keep this, uh, let's call it My Site. So we're going to go ahead and name the new project that we're creating, My Site. Keep everything the same. I have my width set to 1000 pixels, my height set to 800 pixels. I keep resolution at 72, color mode, just regular, don't mess with any of that. Make the contents white. Uh, and don't mess with anything else. As long as yours looks like mine, we are ready to go. And go ahead and left click on OK. Now it's going to bring up the background. It's going to be pure white. And the first thing we're going to do is just starting adding graphics. So we're going to go ahead and grab the rectangle tool. All I'm doing to get that is hover over it and left click and hold down. So we have the rectangle tool selected. And the first thing we need to do is create a new layer. So we have the background layer. We don't want to build everything on the background layer. We want to be able to break it up and move it around. So we're going to left click on layer, go over to new, new layer. Uh, let's call this first layer the banner for simplicity. Alright, so we have banner and that's just going to go at the top. And we're going to organize this so you will not get too lost. Because we're going to have several different layers before this project is over. And you don't want to forget which ones are which and start turning things off and getting confused. So we're going to title everything. This one's going to be banner. And the first thing we're going to do is choose our color over here in the color picker. It uh, starts off being white, and we don't want that, so we're going to left click. We're going to choose just a blue. Let's see. We'll choose, uh, yeah, we'll choose a blue like this. If you want to get this exact color, you can try to, try to whatever, get close to it by doing exactly what I did. Or you can type in the six carat color code right beside the pound key is 0070 lowercase d7 if you want the exact color that I'm using. I'm going to go ahead and left click OK. And I'm simply going to go up here, left click, hold it down, and drag to the width. If you'll notice, I'm going a little bit wider than the background. And the reason for that is we want it to run off. So we get, I'll show you back on the website. We want it to go all the way across. And I'll show you exactly how we do that a little bit later. So for now, we're just going to have it right here, the 800 pixels wide. We're going to style that up just a little bit. So if you go over here to the banner layer and double click on that, double click the left, we're going to add a simple bevel and emboss. Go ahead and left click on bevel and emboss so it'll bring up the different properties. We're going to go for down. Next, we're going to add a drop shadow. So go ahead and left click the checkbox on that and you'll see it adds a simple drop shadow. We're not going to go too much into detail with this. We're going to keep it at five pixels away from it and 0% uh, spread and all that. The only thing we're going to change is the angle. You can either type it in over here or you can click, left click and drag. You can move it around. I'm going to bring it just to 90 so it's coming straight down. Just makes it a little bit easier to edit later. Alright, so now that we have that, we're going to left click. Next thing we need to do is add a new layer. So left click on layer, go to new, new layer. And for this layer, we're going to call it our nav bar. All right, so now we have a blank layer, our nav bar. I'm actually going to left click over here and drag it below the banner so the organization over here on my layers channel will sort of look similar to what I'm doing out here on the stage itself. Just gives me an idea because I know the banner's going to be at top, the nav bar will be below it. What I'm going to do over here, I'm going to have the rounded rectangle tool selected. Uh, again, hold down left click and release. So now you have the rounded rectangle tool. We'll go ahead and keep our radius at 10 pixels, the mode of normal and all that. If you hold down left click and then just drag it across, you're going to see this little purple line appear. And if you don't see that, I will show you in just a couple seconds how to get that. 
Okay, so now it's just going to pop up this the blue bar. So you just let go of the mouse, and there's our layer on a separate, or there's our shape on a separate layer. Okay, if you didn't see, I'll go up here and select the move tool so I can move it around. You'll notice that that purple line that appeared. How to get that is to go into view. First thing I have on is snap, so it sort of jumps to it. But I'll show you if you go in over, hover over show and find where it says smart guides and make sure that's checked if it's not go ahead and check that and that's what's going to show you where you're what you're aligned with what different shapes are related to it and how you're aligned to it that purple line that I showed you earlier this right here that's showing me that it's perfectly centered with the top banner in other words it's perfectly centered with the page which is exactly what I'm looking for now what I was saying earlier about the different layers if you'll notice the banners on top and the nav bars right below it now that doesn't affect anything you've seen here but let's say you have an image where it's under here now you'll notice the banner is actually covering up the nav bar now that that's just for demonstration purposes so you can see what the different layers do over here in the layers channel but for now we're going to keep it and bring it down find out where that little purple bar yeah there it goes snaps to it okay great now the next thing we're gonna do is style this up just a little bit first of all I want to change the color let's see what our color was on the website alright so I just used a simple black so we're gonna go over here to this little switch button and it's gonna switch it to black so if you just left click that it's gonna switch this to black alright so now we're gonna grab our paint bucket just left click on the paint bucket and click on the nav bar left click alright so now we have a simple black solid nav bar looking shape on our project next thing we want to do is create a layer right above that shine we'll go ahead and layer or call this layer shine alright so we have our shine layer so I'm gonna go ahead and switch back and you can keep it on black but I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to this blue and left click and then just choose white so all I did was left click in here and just swiped it all the way up to where it has white or if you want to put it in the pound symbols just use FFF6 six, six F's basically or you can just type in three F's it'll do the same thing go ahead and click OK and we're going to left click hold down and grab our rectangle tool now for this we're going to line it up until we see it locks into the middle so you'll see a little purple line appear right there purple line appears showing me that the bottom of the rectangle I'm drawing now is lined perfectly in the middle of my nav bar image so I'm gonna go ahead and left click that okay so it looks like it got rid of it but don't worry All right, we're gonna take our shine and hold the alt button down and you'll see this little symbol pop up If you see that holding the alt button down left click that's just gonna make it so that our shine our shine shape that we created only goes as far as the nav bar so let me show you what that looks like it doesn't look any different because our white background is the same color as our shine but let's say we take our background layer and all I'm doing is left clicking and go to edit fill we're gonna just fill it with a simple 50 percent gray so now you can see that shape that we created earlier is just you know goes way over the nav bar which is fine so again we'll go back to our shine layer and then hold down alt you'll see the symbol and left click now you'll see exactly what it does it's taking it and applying it to only the shape itself the only the nav bar okay great I'm gonna go back to my background layer and change it back to white white okay next thing I want to do is go into my nav bar I'm gonna just 